Okay, so it is February 12th, 2020 in the evening. Okay. Now, I got a phone call today because for the last two months, people, two months, well, a month and a half, a month and a half, I have been trying to get a hold um, of Shimei's medical records from the clinic that I took my family to as a mother to minor children. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> to a clinic which we established a family doctor, basically. Okay. I put in freedom of inf information requests. I've mentioned this before. I've mentioned this before, people. And with this clinic, for Sierra's medical files, Shimei's medical files, and um, Amari's medical files. Okay? And from the get-go, I was told that I would have to pay for those photocopies, and that if I couldn't afford to pay for them all at once, I could do it in payments. Okay? So, and I had to sign a special form for that, that was related to the clinic itself. Okay? Plus, I submitted the forms, the Freedom of Information form, that was supplied to me by the Freedom of Information office for a private clinic, I guess you could say, because you've got government Freedom of Information uh, application that's strictly for government ministries and those types of things. And then you've got for businesses that, you know, medical clinics that aren't technically connected to the healthcare system like a hospital would be. The hospital would require a different form than a clinic. So I submitted all the correct forms. Okay. When I went to submit it, the, the, the time at the time when I submitted it, people, the doctor was already bickering with me, saying, no, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that. And I'm like, yes, I can. I've already spoken to the people that work at the Freedom of Information office, right? And this is how you do it. You guys have 30 days to respond to me in terms of giving me that information. Otherwise, I go to the Freedom of Information office and I, from my understanding... I put the request in through them. If whoever I'm putting that application in doesn't give it to me. Or I have to go to court, one or the other, right? And I told them that. So anyway, I ended up leaving the paperwork behind. I f signed their forms agreeing that I would pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for those photocopies because they were charging like 10 cents a copy for the first 20 pages and then it went down to like 8 cents or some 6 cents a page and then it was like 5 cents a page thereafter right you're looking at three different files Shimei's files like that because it turned out that they have Shimei's uh, medical files from the hospital you know and I know because I have them already people that's a lot of paperwork right so I'm like okay whatever I'll deal with it right I already mentioned this on a video okay I was budgeting in $300 for the first allotment to get this paperwork, okay? For my files, for my personal files, people. M more than anything else to start with, okay? What, what are they going to do? What, what, I just want them, okay? They're my daughter's medical records, right? Andre. Now, the thing about Andre is... When I was fighting for Andre, okay, before I even had a lawyer, okay, because you have to remember, the government denied me access to legal aid, people. So I was going to the Supreme Court, okay, whatever. I ended up going to a, um, a trial, right, that somebody had gotten pro bono with a lawyer against MCFD for the wrongful apprehension of her children. And I went and I sat and I listened and whatever. I gave them information to my nonprofit and whatever. And 
while I was doing that, I went like two times or something, right? And uh, I was speaking to the lawyer and the assistant to the lawyer. And basically what they told me, people, is that there is no statue of limitation for Andre. If he wants to file his own lawsuit when he's older because of what happened to him, he can do that. Okay, so that's one reason why I want those medical files when it relates to Sierra, because Andre may want to do that, people, when he's 19 and older, or maybe he just wants to read them, right? But I think we should have them in light of the miserable life that Sierra had, okay? Okay. But you see, the thing about Sierra, people, is she didn't get proper health care. And these guys, they know it. They know it. Okay, I have it documented on YouTube, a spider bite, that actually YouTube tried to remove. <laughs> because of the shadow banning and the gang stalking through YouTube staff and all that. And Anyway, they ended up putting it, allowing it to go through. Because it's... It's a fact of life. Sierra got kicked out of the house illegally, was on the streets, sleeping God knows where, sitting up in bushes, right? Just in really bad situations. And we have what you call the brown recluse spiders out here. Brown recluse spiders are worse than um, wolf spiders. Wolf spiders can get really, really big. I get them. When the winter comes, they run around my house. I have to catch them, throw them back outside. I come into contact with them all the time in my yard. Brown recluse, brown recluse spiders are prolific in British Columbia, Canada, and they like wood. So if you're a homeless person, chances of you coming across a brown recluse spider is pretty high, okay? Because they're in the environment, people. It is what it is. So anyway, Sierra was homeless, right? She wasn't living in the house, I don't think, at that point. Right? Because I couldn't have her in the house if I wanted Andre back. That was the rules. Even though that room sat empty for 15 months. <laughs> right? And she got bit two times by a spider. So she goes, to, but the thing is, she went to the clinic. It was on her leg, and there was another one, right? I'm just thinking of the one in particular right now. And they just turned her away, people. And she came home, and she showed me, and I'm like, well, what the hell is that? Oh, well, well, it's just, you know, drugs coming out of my system. And I'm like, okay. Right? I seen her the next day or whatever. It got worse. It, this thing was huge, people. Like a big bloody boil, right? On her leg that was pussing and leaking and all kinds. It just, the, the skin was changing color. And I'm like, that's not drugs coming out of your system, Sierra. You know, let me get a magnifying glass. So I got a magnifying glass, people. And I took a look. And I could see the puncture wounds. And I told her, I said, Sierra, that is a spider bite. You need to go back to that clinic and tell them that you got bit by a spider. Because spider bites can kill you, people. They can literally kill you. She went. They turned her away again. I said, no, you came back. I said, no, you go back. You go back. Finally, she got the right kind of antibiotic for it, people. But she had to go like three times or something like that. And then it happened again on a different location in her body. The point is, is they turned her away because they don't provide good quality health care to the people that are out on the streets, bottom freaking line, okay? Right? They don't want me to see her files because it clearly will document medical negligence. And I can get Amari's medical files 
They said I can have his. I have to pay for them though, right? But you see, the thing about Amari, okay, doctors are trained to pick up on mm, physical issues, right? When it comes to um, cerebral palsy. <laughs> Because they, you know, they, they do, uh, what is that called? Um, reflex, you know, reflex, right? They check, they check the eyes, they lift them up to see if they're floppy, you know, they check their hips to see if the hips are clicking. They do all this stuff when babies are born, and every time you take them in for a checkup. In the old days, back in the day, like 37 years ago when I had my son, nurses used to come to the house and, you know, they'd weigh the baby in the house and they'd check the baby's hips. and like there, I remember double diapering because I use cloth diapers for all my children. And uh, I remember having to double diaper on a couple of my kids or one kid or something anyway because of maybe hips clicking. So what I'm trying to say is Shimei was taking Amari, you know, for follow-ups, right? Nobody, none of these people picked up that he had cerebral palsy, people. Nobody. And I find that to be very, very, very suspicious in light of the fact that they were trying to accuse Shimei of doing drugs because she had an opiate in her system right after giving birth via through an emergency C-section. And because he came out jittery and jumping, right? right they tried to blame her for it they didn't do the mri to test to see if maybe he had suffered brain injury because they didn't want to document the negligence people bottom freaking line right they turned her away for like almost five days five four days she went they turned her away they gave her morphine she went back they turned her away but they gave her morphine then she went back and then they dragged it out for 12 hours and then they rushed in an emergency c-section and then they accused her of doing fucking drugs but the damage was done by that time people he came out brain damaged from their negligence they knew it they covered it up. They blamed, tried to blame her for it. Even in death. Go into my videos. They tried to blame her for everything. Right? Nobody, no doctor that came into contact with Amari for seven months didn't pick up that he had floppy baby syndrome. Why? Why is that, people? Why? Why? That's what they're trained for. I didn't notice the cross-eyed right? Until he was about going on four months old. He was about three and a half going on four months old. I said, Shimei, there's something wrong. He's going cross-eyed, or right? Because you have to remember, people, I didn't spend a lot of time coddling Shimei with her baby. I let Shimei take charge of her own life with her own baby. So I didn't really interfere with the baby. I didn't, I wasn't that kind of a mother. Give me the baby, you know, you let me do it, you know, no. This was your baby, she may, you look after your baby, okay? And she was doing everything right, people, okay? But the thing is, these doctors weren't doing everything right. They were ignoring it. So, another thing, there was a woman when Amari was three months old that held Amari and pointed it out, people, that there was something wrong with his legs, that there was something not right. At three months old, she noticed it. I didn't notice it, people, because I didn't really hold him very much. Right? And it took over four months after Shimei was dead before they started to address the eye situation. Because she went at four months asking to see an eye doctor because he started going like this, right? And by the time she died, that eye doctor appointment hadn't even materialized yet. Okay? And then in terms of his mobility, we just thought maybe he was a late bloomer in terms of, right? Some babies don't like to stand 
too soon. Some babies don't crawl right away. You know, we just we just thought he was a late bloomer, people. But he had baby floppy syndrome. Floppy baby syndrome. Right? That ultimately was cerebral palsy that re re resulted from brain damage. Lack of oxygen, people. Okay? So... Anyway, I mean, there's just a lot of shady shit going on here in Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. Once you're a targeted family, you're so hooped. You're so hooped, right? Because they go after one, after another, after another. Like, they just don't stop. Okay, and, and this is just a classic example of what's going on with this clinic. Okay, like... How am I supposed to go see this doctor that's supposedly supposed to be my family doctor that's been my family doctor for years and years and years and years, right? Saying, no, I'm not going to give, you know, because he kind of said no when I was filling out the application. And I'm like, well, no, I can do this, right? You know, just here's the paperwork and I'll come back in a month, right? If you don't want to give it to me, then you're telling me I got to take you to court? Well... Oh, we got to talk to the boss. We got to talk to the boss. I said, well, you go ahead and talk to the boss then. I'm entitled to these medical files. Right? For my own personal reasons, people. Okay? So. I can't go back. And I can't use the other clinics. Okay? Because they're not trustworthy. They're not trustworthy people, right? You don't go to a business that abuses you. Says that you can buy some things but not other things because they don't like what you're buying and they don't think you should have it. Or maybe they don't like you and they just want to pick on you. How about that? Right? Right? So there's like really serious consequences around this because one, I don't have a car, right? There's only so many clinics around. Probably no family doctors available. How the hell am I supposed to find a family doctor, people? For a disabled child. If I go back to the one that I have, I mean, it's obvious he's got attitude if he hasn't had it for a while, and I just didn't really notice it, but now it's very apparent, right? So he's not going to give you quality health care, that's for sure, because he's stewing. He's stewing and he's going to be vindictive and spiteful and negligent, especially if he's covering up something in those files, people. How is it that he didn't pick up that Amari had floppy baby syndrome? Knowing what they knew in terms of what the hospital was accusing Shimei of. And it was documented that Amari was genuinely after birth from an emergency C-section. Even though it was the hospital that dragged it out for five freaking days. And was giving her morphine in between that time. Sending her home with it, people. As if, I don't know if she took it. But they definitely were giving her something when she was there in labor. And they sure in hell gave her something when they cut her open with a C-section. But you see, they had to accuse her of something, right? In order to be able to protect themselves, people. And they were negligent not to do the MRI. Okay. So, now that they've taken it there and telling me that I, you see, this is, this is what it reminds me of, what these people are doing, okay? When they medically kidnapped Uncle John, because mm -hmm. he inherited money and they didn't, his family didn't tell him about it for 14 months until, he, one, he was either going to die and they just weren't going to say anything and keep his money, or he was going to be 
coming down with a cold or a flu or something and end up in the hospital or maybe fall and break his toe and end up in the hospital. And they knew, being that he was 76 years old, bad legs, bad eyes, it was just a matter of time something was going to happen. And they were just riding the fucking storm until it happened. And then as soon as it happened, right, they got in there because Eleanor, the uh, provincial head nurse of immunization, pulled some strings, you know, paid off a few bribes. Who knows what she did, but she definitely did something, right? Senior senior union staff member, right? Been in the industry for like 40 fucking years, right? You know, cut a deal with the bank, right? They locked me out, people. I had power of attorney and enduring power of attorney for 25 years. And you know what they said to me after the, giving me the running around? Go get a lawyer. Go get a lawyer. You want anything? Go get a lawyer. They have yet to legally remove me off of John's account, people. Mm -hmm. But you see, that's how simple it is for these guys. All they have to say is, go to court. Take it to court. Go get a lawyer. And that's why they do it, because we're poor and they know that we can't go to legal aid and get lawyers for stuff like this, because the government encourages this kind of activity, and that's why they make it so that you can't get a lawyer. Right? Because it, it's that underground economy. Right? That's what it is, people. That's just another form of the underground economy. Laundering money and stealing money from the poorest of the poor. Okay? So, as this receptionist and whoever... Go to court! Go to court! I'm like, go to court? Like, do you really want to take it there? Yeah, well, my boss said, take it to court. And I'm like, okay. Where did I hear that from before? Right? CIBC Bank. Okay? <laughs> Fraser Health Authority. Right? Yeah, they're all working together, people. Mm hmm Right? As they're accusing us of being the criminals to deflect away from themselves, basically. So, I'm like, well, I have to go to the courthouse anyway. I planned on going to the courthouse, like, within the next week or two. I have to. I have to serve my government with that notice of claim with Shmay. And since I'm there, <laughs> right, I'll find out how I can take that clinic to court to get my medical files, Andre's medical files, Amari's medical files, Sierra's medical files, and Shimei's medical files. And I'm going to ask the judge to make it so I don't have to pay out a thousand dollars for those medical files, being that I'm poor, and I shouldn't have to. I was willing to for the three files that I wanted, but I want them all now, basically, since I'm there, because I'm not going back. Unless something dire, 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 dire in terms of I can't get a family doctor and now I'm forced to go to the only doctor that can actually help me get a referral for my grandson when the time comes. That's the only reason I'd go back. Other than that, I'm looking at spending $25 to go to another fucking clinic to avoid those clinics that are owned by one man that wants to be an asshole because he's covering something up, in my opinion. Now, my other thought is this. If I'm the only person, people, as a parent to dead children, regardless of their age, okay, regardless of their age, okay, doesn't matter if they're adult children or little children, okay, I am the parent, if I can't access my children's medical files in a clinic without being told to go to court, it kind of makes you wonder what the rest of the parents are doing in this province. Because the woman that I was talking to on the phone basically said that nobody's ever done that before. 
when I said, well, what do you do with other people when they make this request? And, well, there's been nobody else that's done it, only you. For all the death that goes on in the city of Surrey, don't you find it kind of odd that none of these parents out here want to know what's in their children's medical records after they die? <laughs> right? Or were those parents told that they can't have those medical records and they have to take it to court and they just didn't have the stamina, the, the, the wherewithal, the, uh, you know, maybe they can't speak English, right, very good or at all, right? So how the hell are they going to go to court getting their child's medical files if they can't freaking navigate through the court system because they're sure in the hell not going to get no lawyer? Right. But it kind of goes par and parcel with, well, you can't get the autopsy report. You can't get the coroner's report. You know, you, you, you just can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. You just got to accept what it is that these people do to you. You know, if they want to do this to you and do that to you and do, 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 you know, you can't do anything to defend yourself. Absolutely nothing. You can't do anything to defend your family, stick up for your family, you know, fight for your family, because the more you fight, the more you stand up, the more you, you, you say, right? What do they do? This is the shit that they do, people. Right? This is the shit that they do. And they do falsify records. Okay? Right? Right? So if your child dies... For your own peace of mind, I would highly recommend, no matter what some boss has to say to some corporation that obviously sees their patients as a meal ticket and nothing more and nothing less, right? Something to boss around and to control and to manipulate and to intimidate and to threaten and then say, come back and use my services. Yeah, okay, my ass. My ass. So anyway, I am going to the courthouse with or without a lawyer. At this point, I have no lawyer, people. We know why. Right? Because of that two-tiered society. And when I get to the courthouse, I will be finding out how I can take this corporation, this medical clinic, to court. And I will be getting the papers ready that fast when I'm there. I'll, I don't know if I have to do it through the Supreme Court or if I have to do it through the Provincial Court. I don't know. All I know is I'm not going to let them get away with this. Right? Those, those medical files belong to me. Right? Andre has a right to have those medical files for his personal well-being. Whether he just takes the time to read them when he's older and keeps them close to his heart or whether he decides to do something with them after he talks to a lawyer as an adult and makes a decision based on what those what the lawyer will say if he ever decides to do that for himself in 10 years from now those medical records will be destroyed and everything that's happened to Sierra will be buried because that's that's what's happening i got the coroner called me up like 2 or 3 months ago Right? Called me. So, Sierra's autopsy is done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, she died of fentanyl. Case closed. Do you want the autopsy report? And I'm like, really? Can I have it? He goes, oh, yeah. Well, that's not what they told me with Shemaine. They won't give me Shemaine's autopsy report. And I said, yeah, that would be really nice. Wow. Please, yeah, I'd like that. Because, you know, I don't want just a corner summary. That was months ago, people. I haven't even got a coroner summary. They haven't sent me nothing. Absolutely nothing. Cops haven't told me what happened with John Hart yet, either. But we already kind of know. If you say something, you're going down. They're just trying to figure out how to fuck the worm out of that one. 
I guess they figure if they just leave it long enough, like Uncle John, right? Just leave it long enough. It won't be long before she ends up in the hospital because, she, you know, she's getting old. And when once she gets there, that's it. She'll never get out. That's what they did with John, people. That's what they did with John. They didn't tell him for 14 months that he inherited money. Okay? He inherited money. Right? They didn't tell him, people. Until they could lock him up. Illegally detain him. Illegally drug him. Illegally transport him. And then he just died, an old, lonely, old man with nobody beside him like all these old people today. Which reminds me, I'm going to end this video on what the British Columbia Canadian government has done today in terms of their pre-recorded live streams that are restreamed, in my opinion. I'll show you right now. And just so you know, so far, I'm not the one that did that. YouTube did that. Okay? YouTube did that. They don't want people commenting on this because they don't want people getting mad right and, and and learning how to stand up for their own family members right that's the way i interpret that but anyway they had their little live stream today okay you can see you can see the date i just want to show you where it came in i'll keep it simple february 5th February 8th. This says three days ago, but you remember, I tell you, when this is over, within a few hours, this will change to four days. To which... Hmm, where are we? Uh, February 8th. Three days... Jump to the front. Well, we knew that was going to happen. All right. Mm. February 8th, three days. It came in between February 8th and February 5th. Can you see that? There's February 5th, February 12th, February 8th. February 12th is behind 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 videos. Did I count that right? Alright, 3 days. February 12th, February 8th, February 5th. Okay, then it jumps to the front. This one here, we're going to refresh the page. And you're going to see that February 8th now says four days. So this live stream right here came in between four days in the past up to seven days or more because this could change to two weeks tomorrow right we've been there done that and then basically what this individual has said I'll just leave the link for this people because I mean this is old news basically ten people died I guess from, what was that? February what? <laughs> from the last time they reported? February 8th. 
from what I can see. The point is, is that came in between February 8th and February 5th, and then it jumped. Okay. So, I'm just reconfirming if I make it, people, if I make it. Right? I'm going to the courthouse within the next week or so. Right? Week to two weeks. And I'm going to verify how I serve my government with that notice of claim with Shemay. And while I'm there, because, you see, that's the thing. They tell poor people or people who have, I don't want to say poor language skills or people who are uneducated, but people who are not brain surgeons or wheeling, dealing, freaking Denny Craig lawyers, you know, they, they, they specifically target vulnerable families vulnerable people, right? Not everybody makes it through high school. I didn't even make it through high school, people. Okay? Not everybody has a handle on the English language, whether it's reading, writing, <laughs> right? They know it. And what they know, they use against you. I've been through this with CIBC Bank. Go get a lawyer or go to court. You want you want to see the power of attorney? Go, take it to court. I have a copy of that Enduring Power of Attorney, and I also have Power of Attorney. I have two. That's why Eleanor put herself down twice, right, with the bank fraudulently doing it for her. Okay. So, when Shemay shit gets to court, you know, I'm going to remind the judge when I go there that they're prejudiced, and they're biased, and they're crooked, right, and that I don't expect fair treatment. And I'm going to document it on the first fucking day. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what I'm going to do, people. Because I've already been there, done it. I know what I'm going into. And now this fucking clinic wants to drag me into another courtroom just to get my children's medical files after they've made thousands and 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 thousands of dollars off of my kids? Okay. Well, let's hope I get out of this alive, people. Seriously.